want to wait and utilize 18 seconds of the shot clock mm -hmm. and get a good shot. They got good shots, but they did it early on in the offense. And so because Miami is a good defensive team and Greg Popovich understand that he had to speed the game up, that's the reason why they got off to such a great start, but they never did adjust to that. They waited for San Antonio to shoot threes, but Danny Green attacking the basket. He got layups. That's what happens when your offense is precise enough that you depend on a three-point shot. You can also attack the baskets, and you don't have any line of defense to contend with. Wow. So, so Bruce Bowen knew before the game. Bruce already Roger called Mason it. came here and said he knew before the game. You two uh, you, didn't know it. You guys should have called us. Yeah, you know. I tried yeah. to talk with Stephen A., but he was what too busy. Yeah. He was too busy being a mayor. Of, of oh. Miami. Oh, okay. You were too. You were too busy mayoring. He was mayoring. But th this is my colleague. That's your dude. This is my guy. Yeah. And he's just he's just a little warm right now, not just because of the <laughs> it's heat, right but it's, it's other things going on as well. <laughs> All right. It Go devastated ahead. me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It devastated me last night. It's not that they lost. It's that they got beat down. Right. You know, I mean, they were completely outclassed by the San Antonio Spurs in game three, and that shocked me. But with that being said, that's fine because Bruce Bowen is absolutely right. Because as I think, as I sit here and I think about what he said, and he pointed to the level of urgency, well, who has it now? There you go. It's the Miami Heat. Oh, 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 You know what I'm saying? That's all right. Y'all got it today. <laughs> but the Miami Heat will be back. This series will be tied after game four, two, two, going back to San Antonio, because like you said, <laughs> San Antonio sped it up. They started Boris Diaz. They threw a monkey wrench into the play, but it's okay. Uh -huh. I am sick and tired uh -huh. of sitting here in my doldrum. All right, y'all had your moment. Okay, the get Miami out of here. Heat will return, Skip Bayless. Uh -huh. They will return, Bruce Bowen. This will not, this is just one game. Okay. This is one game. You wait and see. Skip, this is a byproduct. See, when you allow the emotions to get involved, this, this is, is what like happens. You? This like is you? what happened. Yeah, I wasn't so, the one sitting over there. Hey, 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 hold on. That was I you. Was, I was mingling with some folks <laughs> that remember me when I was here. I just wish they had a little Seiya Cruz for me to come out and buy la own salsa, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. But that didn't happen, know. Stephen A. <laughs> no. Back to, look, back to the matter at hand. Yeah, thank you. Back thank to the thank matter you. at hand. Let's get it back is, to that. It is truly about who respects their win the most. Who respects it enough to come back with just as great of an effort? Yeah. Not saying that you may play better or excellent execute better, but have just as much effort. These two teams are so evenly matched. It's not about trying to come up with a new play to get a guy to score. It's more about who's going to enforce but their will as far as running their offense. Let me back off of stuff that Skip said And to defense, me. because me, defense has something to do with it too. All right, Steven all right, man. listen to me. Let I'm me bring up two points. Uh -huh. I brought up Mario Chalmers and yes. the fact that I've got the police looking his APB out for him right, right now. I don't know where he's at. Right. And Skip brought up LeBron James because he's like, if you're the greatest player in the world, you got to be held accountable for, you know, what, what happened over the last three quarters because right. he didn't seem to be there. What do you make of those two guys, well, what I, you saw last night? I'm sorry, Stephen A. I, I said the same thing as far as who I felt needed to have a big game for Miami yesterday. I said it was Mario Chalmers. I think sometimes Mario gets caught up in the fact that, you know, he's alongside of LeBron and D-Wade and the Chris Bosh, and he doesn't get a lot of recognition. My thoughts always have been, as long as you're on the floor, you have an opportunity to do something special. You can't do something special from the bench. So, as a play, that's my player's perspective. But on the other end, with LeBron, he's doing all he can. He needs, everyone else has to participate. We saw in OKC, we'll bring this up again, Tony Parker didn't play in the second half of a closeout game, and they still won the game. Stephen A., everyone has to have a hand in the process of what's going on. LeBron can only be LeBron when others are doing a That's fantastic I, I job him. as well. Okay. Steve, Rashard Lewis did a fantastic job last night of knocking down shots. It's just that it was a wasted effort almost because they didn't get the help from others, and they need that in order for LeBron to be special. Okay, let's talk about the best player on the court last night who was not king of the world, LeBron James. Right. Kawhi Leonard, you and I have discussed numerous times over the last couple of years. Once upon a time in your day, you were the best on-ball defender in the NBA to me. Thank you. Okay. And 
Kawhi has been called maybe the next Bruce Bowen on defense. And I always said no because I think he's going to be greater. Do you he's really? He's 22 years old. Now, the difference is here, when LeBron came into the game, he was already close to being tops in the game. So Kawhi has had to work to get to this point right now. He's he's had the fortunate opportunity of playing with Tim, Tony, and Manu. And there's a lot of times he would defer to those guys. Greg Popovich recognized in film sessions, hey, you're retreating on certain things. You got to bring the fight to a player like LeBron James because his talent is so great. So what did he do this time? He just tried to make sure that every time LeBron touched the ball, he was thinking of where he was. He's getting a hand and he's getting a hand on each ball, things of that nature. But 22 years old, mm -hmm. he still hasn't quite grasped all the things that LeBron had at 20. So we have to take that into account. But he's learning along the way, and he's learning in a system whereas LeBron was forced to be the man at such an early age in his okay. career. My view right now, and again, this young man is 22 years of age, I'm not sure he'll ever be as good as you as a defender because I'm not sure his feet are as quick as yours were. But offensively, he can be a force. When he decides to attack, he, he gives anybody problems, including LeBron James trying to guard him. Well, and it's not just LeBron. It was others as well. You didn't see the rotations in the defense for the Miami Heat. All the layups that the Spurs got, Danny Green was finishing at the basket. And you heard Jeff Van Gundy say on the telecast last night, I've never seen Danny it's, Green do something like pathetic, this. Yeah. But yeah. this is a byproduct of being a, a basketball player, yeah. being talented and more than just one thing. He's not just a three-point shooter. He recognizes within the game what he can do sure. to uh, add to his Let me team. say this last point. I'm putting more of this on Eric Spolster as well. You want me to tell you why? What? Because the Miami Heat have never faced a team all year that moves the basketball and shares it as much as San Antonio does. So the rotations that the Miami Heat are accustomed to making with everybody else elevates exponentially when you're talking about going up against the San Antonio Spurs because of the things that they do to try and create open shots for other guys. You have got to figure out what Popovich is doing. It is, you have you know, to do it. I got to say this, Stephen A. It's not on Eric Spolster. I'm not saying uh, 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 He's uh, an this, exceptional this, coach. This, he just yeah, has to figure it no, out. But it's not about that. It's about the competitive desire it within your group. They didn't come ready to play last night. Simple as that. And that's not a coach can only do so much. You have to realize that I am in the NBA Finals right now. Mm. Yes, maybe they have the they have had the luxury of being there so many times that they didn't respect this moment quite like okay. other times. So I find that, that hard to believe. Well, so do you, I. But you know, as a player, that's why you have such an emotional roller coaster when it comes to wins and losses. A lot of times you see teams lose after they gain a win because they kind of relax, they right. exhale. No. Pat Riley is always preaching, no, we have to be in the moment. We have to move forward. So what? I remember one time we beat a, a team we should have beaten, and because we were playing the Knicks two days later, Riles didn't give us a day off because he wanted us to keep that edge and understand we don't want to get lax. And that's what that's what's taking place right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, we we got to go. We got what? We got to wrap. That's it? Yeah. I gave, happy, I gave him aren't? a soft yeah. touch like we got to get up out of here. Yeah. Uh, I love am happy you. you're leaving. I am happy you're leaving. Gracias, mi gente. Por todo. Gracias, gracias. Coming up next, NBA TV analyst, NBA TV analyst, Rick Fox, former Laker, you guys. He'll join the deck. I don't, I don't want you here right now. And just a few moments, these two are fighting. I don't want you here right now. At the desk when he comes back. You love him. You love him. Not to die. The Hook is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. When sales rep Steve Hatfield books at LaQuinta.com, he gets a ready-for-you alert the second his room is ready. So he knows exactly when he can prep for his presentation. And when